Okay, here's a HD camcorder, high definition uh, digital video camcorder. It's a spy pen. I bought this from um, eBay. It came from China. Took a couple of weeks. It cost twenty something dollars. I will uh, take a screenshot of the auction listing and show it uh, right after this. Um, what are my first impressions of the camera? Pen. Well, besides some some pen tabs, this is pretty much what was in the box, and I had to add a film card. I added a sixteen uh, gigabyte film card. I, you know, it was. I took it from another pen. Now I'm hoping that the film it's it's not the film card that's the problem well actually maybe it, it would be better if it was but I, I've tested the ca um, the camera pen just now and I, I walked around I used it for a couple of minutes and it seems to have a couple of problems um, one thing about it is when you put it together it looks like a pen you know it looks really good you know um, the camera lens this has a little tab that you can hide the camera lens if you want to, but I don't think anybody knows this. That's the camera lens, that little, I don't know if you can see it, that little button there. And unfortunately, it's got the microphone in the back, which automatically means that all audio, if you're wearing it on yourself, will be uh, muffled and have like a weird, um, you'll get like, like rubbing sounds from when you're close rubbing against it. I don't think it's a good place for the audio. It's pretty easy to use. You just press this button on the top. Actually, I'll just do it. You press the button on the top for a few seconds. See that light? You let go. After it blinks blue, it's on. You press it again. Yellow light. That's uh, standby. Press it again. And it's filming. Right now, I should be filming. And then to, if you want to turn it off, you just hold the button down. Um, so I used it. And the way that I wore it was I had it high up below my neck. Um, kind of right where my, right where, okay, I don't know what you call this, but right where my neck ends, and I think it was too high. I think I'm going to have to, I'll put it lower somewhere, like I had it about here, right? I don't know if you can see that. I think I should wear it more about where my gut begins, right? Um, because it just, it felt like it was too high. It didn't have a really wide, uh, screen. Um, right now, the first video that I saw, I'm not really happy with. Because, and I don't know if it's because of the way I viewed it. Um, we'll see if it looks different or better on YouTube. Um, because it froze through the video. You know, so I didn't have a position right. I wasn't crazy about the audio. Um, the one thing that really bothered me was the video fr uh, froze. And I had tested it before and I had problems with audio and video syncing. So this, what you're going to see is my first test of it. My first real test where I took it and I walked outside in different lighting situations right after this video. Um, the other thing about this this camera uh, that, oh, here, it charges, I should have shown you this before I unscrewed it, but here, USB goes into your computer, that's where you get the information from, um, that's how it syncs on the film files, you can, ch um, and then this part hooks up to there and that's how it charges or um, that's how it connects to your computer this connects to your computer this is how the camera connects to your computer oh and also it, it functions as a real pen and in the box that you see there there were some extra pen tabs um, for you to use I think there was like five or something uh, okay the other thing about this that I wasn't happy about is I have no way I can't figure out how to change settings the only thing that comes up when I plug the camera in is the camera file which would contain video and I could change it has a date stamp and I was able to change that um, but that's it I can't change like if what it says it's 720 1080 HP and that would be the resolutions but I don't know which resolution I'm filming at it feels at least 1280 by 720 but anyway watch watch the video after this and you will see my first my first experience with this camera and um, and I'm gonna do some more tests I might try it again today to see if it works better but this will be my first experience with this camera and right now I I'm not gonna recommend it it just seems to have too many problems I'm not happy with it just yet 
I'll, I'll say in my second video if I'm happier. You let go after it blinks blue, it's in, and it's filming. Right now, I should be filming. Okay, uh, this is me doing a quick test of my spy cam. <clears throat> this is me talking in a normal voice. A voice that I would be using if I were talking to uh, someone next to me, a regular person. Uh, a regular audio level. Not yelling. Just talking normally. And uh, Now, I'm taking a bucket to my car. So, I'm going to different levels of lighting you know like there's bright sun in front of me I turn around my car and I gotta watch out for ice so I am not going to um, going through the passenger side I'm gonna go through the driver's side I yeah I gotta worry I, there's a lot of traffic where I live a lot of cars come through I might unpack or pull something out of the car and this stuff is for my showcase there's another car that just passed by I was packing stuff since I got back I have a showcase in an antique mall it's a relatively new place hey, look at this floor brownie. Should I take a bite? No, I don't think so. Leave that for later. Here's some of the stuff that was in the car. That's a box of books. Here's a bag or whatever. At some point I gotta take everything out of this car. And switch out for the flea market that's coming up this week. Oh, that's heavy. And then I guess I'll ditch that brownie somewhere to make this test last a little bit longer. You can see I'm in the car. The audio on this pen is in the back. So it's... I had this pen hooked into my hoodie. I, I, the clip was very tight. And I had a hard time getting the pen onto a shirt. But in terms of like how noticeable is the pen, I'm going to say it has like zero noticeability and more cars are coming this is what it's like in the neighborhood just tons of cars all the time I'm continuing to talk just so I can get I still got this brownie anybody's interested let me know I'll save it for you oops okay, let me be, I just want to be careful I don't care on this stuff uh, these bags are things that I bought while in Florida vacationing. Things that I plan to sell. I actually, I, I hope I'm recording. The way I set it up, it should be recording. If it is, it will show something to the ease of being able to turn this, the pen on. I personally don't think, oh, also I couldn't figure out how to, how to change any settings on this. The only thing I was able to change was the tight um, time and date stamp. Alright, I'm at my door and I'm going to turn the pen off now and it's as simple as, there's that brownie, as simple as uh, pressing a button. Alright, now I love you. Woo! Listen. Do what I do.
My antiques mall. This is my showcase booth. That was me just doing a few random things. Um, and let's see what it looks like while I'm doing this. I'm taking some pictures of the case now. I'm on my knees, lower level. I I was complaining about this camera a little bit before because I thought the image froze, but that seemed to be an issue that was just my computer. Um, when I processed the video, I edited it together with the other videos, it seemed to be all right. Right now, again, I'm talking in what would be considered a normal talking voice. Now I'm gonna videotape um, my booth, so I'm gonna be getting really close to stuff, and uh, I will be talking about what's in my video booth and what I changed. All right, uh, we were able to fit everything in the booth. The, the only thing I took out was the uh, Fenton hobnail. Um, I, I, I guess it's a mayonnaise tray that, I, that somebody on YouTube actually was interested in. I'll let them know that potentially there's good news. If they still want it, they can have it. Okay, here is the top shelf out of the red glass vase. And I think that might have been all that I... Well, did we have anything else on the top there shelf? There was a ruby red glass vase. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was over there. Okay, so that's pending. And then that horse. Remember the horse decanter? The Marana, it looked like Marana. Oh, Marana. yeah, okay, that thing. All right. Um, that on the show... But then there's still... What was the other thing you said that was missing that... The Japanese no. prints. Oh, okay, the so, so they've got everything. They're just the pending. The birthday bear. Yeah, because it was all sold in January. Good, all right. Um, on this level, we just added the uh, Wii, and then you mostly move stuff out. Look how buried that ba Batman stuff is back there. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it it doesn't it's matter. It's not even important. Um, did we add anything else to the shelf? Uh, no, I just shifted over. Okay. On this shelf, because so far I think we added this and that, you know. So I guess you added most of the stuff to this shelf, right? Well, we added the pen. And and these guitar guy, the hands, the, the ashtray, horse butt, and uh, the ashtray, and Elvis, and the hands, and the lava plate, the lava plate, and the McCoy uh, bank. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, is that that's like everything then, right? Yeah. So. Oh no, and the tiki. Oh yeah. And, with the other lava. Plate. Okay, and things shifted around, but and then the tiki was the only uh, thing that we added. All right. Um, I think I, I'm going to take some pictures, and that's about it. All right, should be on. I'm trying my spike pen upstairs. Normally I walk through the showcases. And the pain. I don't get to walk upstairs too much, so this is a good chance for me to check it out. The showcases up here don't have the showcases up here don't have doors on them.
single day. Thomas Lee. I think I have paint. Marbles. Mm -hmm. Let's see how we know how to do in the marbles. Mm. I can't afford them today anyway. But up, but up, but up. This case has some nice stuff in it. Look how beautiful those stones are, if you can see them. I don't know. I'm mostly walking around so I can get uh, a rough idea how this thing works. Right now I'm standing about two feet away from the case. I'm going to stand four feet away from the case. And this is my field of view. I think the cases are, they look about like four feet wide. So here. Okay, so I'm four feet, four feet wide, and about six feet. Hopefully that has a whole case in view. Here's some Afri uh, a really nice African chair. <sighs> All right. What's that, a little painting? I'm wearing the camera around my midsection. That's a cool paperweight there. But again, I'm not shopping today. Seems to be a fair amount of African and, and other tribal and native art with a mix of other things in this booth. Like that's that's an Urte. I don't know if it's actually signed. There's a signature I'm pointing at if you can see it. I almost tripped. <laughs> All right, let's see. Motley Crue, right there. Signed. Uh, I'm pointing up. I don't know if you can see it on the wall. There's. I can't get close enough to it with this. But it's like a, a kind of a what do you call it? Optical illusion painting. Pretty neat. I like that kind of stuff. I think it's as difficult to paint something like that as it is to paint a landscape, in my opinion. I like modern stuff. Check this out. I think if I press on my my uh, tummy, I can casually like tilt the camera down so it doesn't look like I'm doing anything in particular when I want to see stuff that's lower. There's a lot of stuff that if I had money for serious shopping and I wasn't just a reseller and I was decorating more that I would consider buying here. There's definitely a lot of nice items. I gotta really like this. This vase. Um, it has a good look to it. I don't think it's it's old, but I would definitely pick it up and look at the bottom. Uh, this is like painted. I don't know if you can see this glass here, but this is all hand blown. That stuff is really delicate. Who's the sign linker? Never heard of you, linker. I think I never heard of a lot of stuff. I have to go when I buy art. I don't really know all the names. I go by the quality of the piece. Some empty cases. Let's see. This is Fenton. 65. I know that's Fenton just by looking at it. Um, I'm not sure if that's retail, but it's close to it. There's some nice glass here. Let's do this. That's cool. Popeye art. This looks to be a booth of cast iron and tin toys. Yeah, it says iron and tin. There's a sign if you can see it. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't think I locked my booth. I have to go back down and lock my booth up. 
I don't, I, there's a lot of cast iron vehicles here. He's pricing them as if they're uh, authentic, and I, he probably knows that they are. I don't know enough. I mean, the tin, you can generally tell. They're usually dated and stuff. That cast iron's reproduced in such a way that it's hard for most people to tell. Um, this is cool, red fire truck. I can't really take forever to do this. I might start going a little bit close, 12.47. Yeah, I'm taking longer than I want comic books to do this. All right, this is all comic books. What's this? Uh, must be a speaker. These are very large decoys. Doesn't seem like a big price for those. Like 150. Painting, kind of a cool horse, folk art horse. 225. Does have some damage. I don't know if it could be repaired, but I guess it could be filled in. CDs and DVDs. I know who, whose uh, stuff that is. That's John. Here's a really cool sculpture, 3600. Uh, men's watches. Uh, military. And other items. Uh, who's that? Uh, yeah, it's Maxfield Parish. I thought it was. So there's three Maxfield Parish prints on that wall, and then other military and assorted art and decorative pieces. Uh, some autographs there. It would take a long. Uh, okay, here's a room with some bump the duck. With some definitely nice Asian and whatever stuff. Sometimes I, it's it's like I want to look through these things and see if anything that I had in my case showed up. Here's uh, some nice. I don't know if you can see it. Melfiore Latticino glass. And I'm tilting lightly on my stomach. We'll see how much that pans down. If this doesn't work, I have to figure out where the camera should go. Like, I don't know if I can see stuff like on the floor. All right, I'm about seven feet away from stuff on the floor I want to show. So I'm going to tilt uh, my finger on the pen. Like, there's a bell there. If you don't see the bell, then I'm not getting the floor. And it says Ross Logan. All right, I'm almost done with this floor. That's pretty big, right? Uh, I don't know what these are. These look like skis. Oh, I see. Somebody took uh, ski bottles and made wine racks out of them. Kind of clever. There's some uh, mosaic tile art. Parada. Parada. Kind of looks like something um, Van Gogh painted. All right, let's see. And then here's, I'm almost done with this floor. Stuff like this appeals to me. This painting that hopefully my hand is in. I don't know why. I, it might be the way my mind works. Or is. All right, that's the floor. I did a big, long test run of this camera. That's a cool tile. Doesn't say who made it. I'm not taking it off the wall to find out. Okay. All right. This is the last test I'm going to do with this camera. This pocket camera. I have it at waist level, and I have it on my right hip. So this would be if I were walking around. Um, I think it's too low to see things that would be at tables at flea markets and stuff like that. But I'm also testing the audio at this distance and I am talking in a normal speaking voice. I went down a dark alley and I'm coming with the sun. This is just a, a quick short test for like, um, if I were walking around and I wanted to film a room how uh, and to see how wide the, the camera lens angle is. 
stuff like that. I'm walking in my car now. I'm in the sun. You can see the snow, different color cars, and that's the end of this test. All right, um, this is the last test I'm gonna do with this camera. Uh, a problem I had with the test before this, I believe the problem was that my jeans, I, I'm sorry, my hoodie kept covering um, the lens. I, I left it in anyway, but right now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna walk and I'm talking in a normal voice. So we'll see how good the audio is. And I'm just gonna walk down my driveway. Um, this is a waist, uh, the pen is in my, uh, my side pocket. My right hand front pocket. And it's at my waist to the right. I don't think it would be great for a lot. I would, I would capture a lot of that stuff. Right now I'm about, and it's, I believe the view's a little askew. Right now I'm about, Four feet away from a tree. Um, there's a view of my street, studio, and just a waste view um, experiment. And we'll, we'll see how that looks. This is my front yard. Uh, there's my house. Um, I'll probably do one more little experiment where I'm holding the pen and I'll see what the field of view is on it. So far, I would like to have the pen more around pocket view, but I have to figure out how to get it so that it doesn't tilt uh, sideways. Um, uh, I'm sorry, so it doesn't tilt up and I'm getting more of a view of the sky. Anyway, um, let me shut this off and then I'll just do a view holding the pen. All right, now I'm just holding the pen in my hand and holding it. I'm assuming that if I'm standing here holding the pen that the view would be the best. And I'm just pointing at a table. I really should have taken something random out. Um, here's my phone. I'm holding the phone about about less than a foot from the camera. So we'll see how close it is, how much of the camera gets in there. And um, this is also an audio test. Uh, here's a pan of my yard and a, the garage and a tree. I'm going to walk to um, I'm going to walk to that bucket there and we'll see what that looks like with me just walking there and how the audio is and how smooth it is um, there's my shadow there's the bucket the bucket is about like um, two and a half feet away from me I think I'll try I don't know if I'll do another test on it um, I think the main thing to figure out with the pen is the audio is not horrible the pen isn't that bad um, the camera seems okay, a little, a little like um, not smooth outside the video. Um, overall, it's it's definitely worth 25 bucks. I don't know how useful it'll be. I I think my main thing is to figure out how to get it to sit in my pocket in a certain way where I'm like um, I don't have it tilted up at the sky because it seems the the normal thing that it seems for this pen to want to do is just to tilt up, and I have to figure out how to get it to tilt down. I think. My best, the best thing that I had done so far was where I put it at my mid, uh, at my mid waist, and when I went to film something lower, I pressed it down. But we'll see. I gotta check this out some more.